Hello, Talita. Hi, everybody. We miss you guys. Yeah, for sure. I'm here. I'm waiting for you guys to come back. <laughs> Soon, hopefully. And look at all of the work. He has gone up these tall, 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 tall ladders. He's cleaning way up there to make sure that you guys are going to come to a nice, clean, safe library. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Mr. Rich. You're very welcome. Have a great day, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to film the invisible string. I recorded it. Mrs. Crone was even in the background, and then it got deleted by accident. So, here we go. The Invisible String by Patrice Karst, illustrated by Jeff Stevenson. Now it's a bonus that you guys got to see Mr. Richard. This is dedicated to the children of the world and the magic of their strings. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried out as they ran to her. Oh, it's late at night. It's 10 o'clock at night. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all the noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared, mom said. You know we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't always need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug at my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. I'm feeling a tug right now, are you? Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, mom said. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean? Asked Jeremy. Yes, mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber? Even there. A ballerina in France? Even there. A jungle explorer. Even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or who gets to sit in the front seat, Or what time to go to bed? Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep. Even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have 
and all the strings their friends have, and their friends have, and their friends have, until everyone in the world was connected by an invisible string. And from deep inside, they now could clearly see no one is ever alone. The end. I hope you liked that story of the invisible string and know that all of the teachers, staff here at Toledo Elementary School have our invisible strings reaching out to you. Have a good day.